every day with the sea captain was full of tall tales and excitement. And a row ho ho and a bottle of brew. But then, one day, the sea captain got sick. So sick, in fact, that he couldn't get out of bed. So sick, he couldn't go on any new adventures. That's when he told me to open the trunk. He said there was something special in there. Ooh, some dirty socks. Hello? Ah! Ah! And what's this? Holy macaroni? It's the treasure map! Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. Today we're reading Treasure Island. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yo ho ho and a bottle of brew. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Will a parrot eat a cracker? I don't know, this is New England. Not a lot of parrots around here, do they? They do indeed, and I'm okay. Just give me a minute. Sure I can't give you a hand? Ah, uh, could ya? A hand would be great. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm okay, I just need a rest. And I've had quite a journey. Pirates, buried treasure, typhoons, sharks, etc., etc. Wow, that is so cool. Whoa, really? Yeah, Arr, and now I need a place to lie low. Hide out. Ooh, are you hiding from pirates? Yes, I am. Cool. Well, you can hide out here as long as you want. We got a bed and breakfast upstairs. Great. And could you hide my trunk? Back there ought to work just fine. Sure thing. It looks like a treasure chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of cola. <sighs> and that's how I met the sea captain. After that, my life changed forever. Pretty soon, everybody in town was friends with the sea captain. For somebody who was hiding out, he sure did a lot of talking. He told all kinds of wild stories, like the time. Got my hand bitten off by ambitious barracuda. Hey! Oof, that's gotta hurt. I fought off a shark with one hand. Not today, hammerhead. And then there was the sea captain's number one hit. The time I found Captain Flint's treasure map. I was on the run from Long John Silver. You know Long John Silver, right? No. Yes. He's got a peg leg and a hook hand and an eye patch. And thank goodness for that patch, because his one eye is the evilest eye you ever saw. If he had two evil eyes, one look from him, and he'd strike you dead. Ooh. And get this, he even has a parrot that sits on his shoulder. Uh-oh. They better watch out. Okay, so back to the treasure map. Did you find the treasure? No, sadly, I never got the chance. Long John Silver chased me halfway around the globe trying to get that map. Is Long John Silver still chasing you? I reckon he is. And if he ever shows up here, well, old Jimmy's going to give me the signal. Yeah, like this. That's a good signal. And lickety split, I'll be gone. And then I'll go find the treasure. Gold, rubies, diamonds, you name it. Pearls? Yeah. Sapphires? For sure. Chocolate coins wrapped in gold foil? Probably. Wow. And a row ho ho and a bottle of brew. La 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 la. Every day with the sea captain was full of tall tales and excitement. But then one day the sea captain got sick. So sick, in fact, that he couldn't get out of bed. So sick, he couldn't go on any new adventures. That's when he told me to open the trunk. He said there was something special in there. He said, When you find it, you'll know what to do. My time is up, little buccaneer. This is your story now. That is so sad. Ooh, some dirty socks. Hello? Ah! What's this? Holy macaroni? It's the treasure map! Ooh, interesting. Let's read another story, come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. A real treasure map? Wow, but to find a treasure map and have absolutely no idea what to do about it, well, that just doesn't feel so good. And as bad luck would have it, guess who showed up? Peg leg? Hook hand, eye patch, evil eye, shoulder parrot. Squawk, Long John Silver's here. Squawk, make way for Long John Silver. Uh, watch out. Time for the signal. <laughs> but then I remembered that the sea captain was gone. This was my fight now. I had to be brave. 
Oh, hi, uh, what's up? Can I help you with something? Yes, I think you can. Has an old sea captain been through these parts? Perhaps dragging a trunk that looks like a treasure chest? A hook for a hand like this? Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah, nope, that doesn't sound familiar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go feed my cat. She's lying! She's lying! Liar, liar, pants on fire! What? No! What? <laughs> the sea captain. He has my treasure map. I want it back. Oh, right, 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 right. One moment. Whew, that was a close one. What's that say? Need help. I've got your back. Selena Garns, attorney at law. The shot. Hi, I need some help. Long story, but here goes. So I met the sea captain. I thought maybe he was a pirate, but he wasn't. He was just a regular sea captain. But he was running from a real pirate and a scary one named Long John Silver because he had a stolen treasure map. A treasure map, huh? That leads to real treasure? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hmm, I can work with that. 10% of the cut plus expenses and I'm in. So Selena Barnes, attorney of law, help me charter a boat. I found a boat captain and a crew. We even went shopping for some new pirate treasure hunting duds. Wow, this is so fun. And then we were off, sailing away from home and headed out into the great wide open, setting sail on our maiden voyage, heading down to the sunny tropics to get some treasure and... <gasps> Apparently, now I'm seasick. Whew. Once I got my sea legs, I went for a little looky-loo around the boat. That's when I heard something interesting. Ooh, I think it's a whale, but not that. This, listen. So LJS is on his way. As soon as we get to Skeleton Island, we'll mutiny, and then we'll take the treasure. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Mutiny? That doesn't sound good. Wait, what does that mean? I better go ask the captain. But wait a second, who's LJS? It's not... Long John Silver says these guys don't know nothing about pirate stuff. They'll be total pushovers. Long John Silver! I should have known he was gonna chase after us. Uh-oh, this is not good. So off I went to find the captain. Captain! Captain Smallish! Captain! Hey, hey, Captain! Captain! Nah! Captain! Phew, I'm glad I found you. You gotta hear this. I overheard the other crew guys saying that Long John Silver, the pirate, is chasing us. And when we get to the island, they're going to mutiny and take the treasure. By the way, what does mutiny mean? It's when a ship's crew takes over and oust the captain. Cool, cool, what's oust mean? It means to get rid of. Generally speaking, it's not good. Right, oh no. I hope they'll be okay. So what do we do? We play it cool. Okay, so like wear sunglasses and say things like, hey man, slap me five. No, we act like nothing's amiss. We're outnumbered. If we fight them now, we're doomed. So we play it cool, but in the meantime, we'll make a plan. Okay, so the plan is to make a plan. I like it. And how close could Long John Silver be? He's probably way behind us. Or so we hoped. Arr! There they be! Onward ho! Giddy up, let's go! That treasure map will be mine in no time. Ha ha ha! Squawk! Giddy up! Giddy up! Ha ha ha! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure. Come on! Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Ah, we're so close I can smell the treasure. All I smell is parrot dander and feet. Squawk, parrot dander and feet, squawk. Back on our ship, we were still hatching our plan. We had to figure out how to deal with the mutineers, AKA the bad guys on our ship. And we had to figure out how to deal with Long John Silver once he caught up with us. Hey, no one ever said treasure hunting would be easy. Okay, so when we land on the island, let's tell the bad guys we're gonna split up. Then we run and get the treasure, hop on the boat and hightail it out of there. Ah! Hey, we're making lemonade. Y'all want some? No, thank you though. All righty. Woo, that was a close one. Okay, back to the plan. So we split up, but what if they follow us? What if they try to oust us before we even get to Skeleton Island? What if they make us walk the plank? We should be ready for battle at all times. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, what's up? Hey, sorry to interrupt. We're running low on toilet paper. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, okay, good to know, thanks. Aye, aye. Weesh, I think this boat is too small for secrets. So, what were we saying? Now let's not forget the other big threat. What if Long John Silver catches up with us at sea? They're sure to have all kinds of fighting things. Swords, bows and arrows, water balloons, cannons. Ah! See? Ah! Oh no, this doesn't look good. He's here, he's here! Long John Silver is here! <gasps> what are we gonna do? You're gonna walk the plank is what? Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, we're actually bad guys. <laughs> Check out all our swords and stuff. We're total baddies. Don't show them the secret sword stash. Oops, sorry. Um, so really, what's the plan now? We can sue them for damages and psychological distress. Or we could try to steer the ship out of the line of fire. Yeah, you do that. I'll think on how to get rid of these two. Whoa! No fair! Just turn the cannons towards them! Um, Captain? Yes? It might be a little bit late for this, but... Take that, bad guy! <laughs> Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Squawk! Ha! They crashed! Also look! We've reached Skeleton Island! Woohoo! I'm just gonna sail to the other side of the island before we disembark! Good thinking! I'd like to avoid Long John if we can! Um, but what about these guys? Oh, I almost forgot. Ah! Ah! Jump! Well, that was easy. You saved my life! How'd you learn to do that? Guess I picked up a thing or two from the sea captain. Just need a little bit more practice. <laughs> so, cannon attacks aside, things were kind of looking up. Maybe we could land ho, get in, get out, grab the treasure, bing bang boom. Or maybe this pirate party was just getting started. Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So, let's see. According to this map, the treasure is... Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going north, two stars over that way. Hmm. That way. Well, okay then. I guess a captain would have a good sense of direction. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I think the map was upside down. Oh no. I hope they'll be okay. Ah, a bug just landed on me. Ah! Shoo! Shoo! Shoo flies! You know what? I'm just going to hang by the ship. You know, keep watch. Make sure no bad guys take it. Good thinking. Ah! Snake! Where? There! Uh, I... I think they're everywhere! Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like a kookaburra! Really? I don't know. I've just always wanted to say kookaburra. Any luck with that map, Captain? I think we go that way. Ah! Or not. Sinking sand! I bet you this is a booby trap set to keep us away from the treasure. Classic pirates, Jeff. That must mean we're close. Cool, let's go. Uh, Captain? <laughs> oh no, this doesn't look good. Don't move. Good boy. Yep, just sniff and move along. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Take that, pirates! Okay, let's go. Yeah. Booby traps won't work on us. <laughs> Oof, that's gotta hurt. Ow! Oh. Ow! I think maybe let's try another direction this time. Roger that. But then, as soon as we changed direction, we heard this. Ah! Ah! Food! Food! Huh? Food! Food! They think he wants food. Oh, I, uh, I got some cookies. 
Oh, that was scrumptious. Well, that was weird. Please do pardon my behavior before I was simply ravenous. I've been living off grubs and worms. For how long? Oh, I've lost track of time. I guess it's been about three years, four months, two weeks, and six days. So almost three years, four months, and three weeks, give or take. Oh, wow. How'd you end up here? Shipwreck? Balloon mishap? I was captured at sea by pirates, then abandoned here. Can you believe that? Real pirates? Yeah, we can believe it. We were actually chased here by Long John Silver. <gasps> no! Yes, do you know him? He's the one who captured me. Why, he's the gnarliest, crustiest, meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Yeah, we have a treasure map, and he followed us all the way here to get it. Captain Flint's treasure? Yeah. You'll never find it. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a party pooper. Why would you say that? That treasure is cursed. Cursed. Cursed? Cursed. Cursed. Cursed? When are we going to catch a break? A curse? Oh, no. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter five. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Cursed? Yes. How many times do I have to tell you? Cursed. Okay, well, can you explain? Like, what kind of curse? Like, whoever finds it will turn into a frog, and then she has to find a charming prince to kiss before she turns into a pumpkin at midnight. Just spitballing here. No way. Worse. Okay, so what is it? I tell you, anyone who seeks the treasure is cursed to a life of despair. What does that mean? Well, look at me. I thought I would find the treasure, and I got captured by pirates and left to eat grubs and worms. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. That doesn't necessarily mean there's a curse. Maybe you're just unlucky. Well, your friend the sea captain didn't seem so lucky either. That's true. Or Long John Silver. I mean, his ship just crashed. Yeah. And we got rained on by cannon fire, fell up to our necks in sinking sand, and you almost got gobbled up by an anteater. These are all good points, yes. See? Cursed. But wait, you said that anyone who looks for the treasure is cursed? Yes, indeed. Well, we already started looking, so I guess we're already cursed. Might as well keep going, am I right? Yeah, why not? Well, I've got nothing to lose. So let's keep going. Curse Shmursh, who cares? Let's get some treasure. <laughs> But maybe there was a curse because things were about to get worse. Which way should we go? How about that way? <laughs> ah! Watch out! Ah! Gotcha! These guys again? Psh, I'll just whip out my sword and do some fierce pointy jabs and they'll go running back to Long John Silver. Oops. It was scarier last time. Yeah, I haven't had much time to practice. Well, looks like we have all the swords, so you'll just do as we say. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are we doing? Walking the plank? You need a ship to do that. You're gonna give us that treasure map. The treasure map? Never. Give it. No way. Come on. Nuh-uh. Please. Keep dreaming. Hand it over. I'd eat it before I give it to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll do it then. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Delicious! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? I didn't think you'd actually do it! Neither did I. Yeah, me neither. That was next level. Uh. Oh man, how are we gonna find the treasure now? Spit it out! Never! Well then, you're coming with us. Where? To Long John Silver. No, not him! You know him? Yes, I'm his former prisoner. Great, I'm sure he'll be happy to see you again. Now chop chop, let's go. See, I told you my friend, we're cursed. The situation is not ideal, but we'll turn it around. You see, I'm an optimistic person. I look on the bright side of life, the sunny side, the... You were saying? Um, that everything's gonna be okay. And look on the bright side, turn lemons into lemonade, etc. Well, that's a nice outlook. It'll serve you well when you're all tied up and shot out of my cannon into the sea. Uh-oh. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. <clears throat> So you want to tie us up and shoot us out of cannons into the sea. Just making sure I heard you correctly. Yes, but first give me that treasure map. I know you have it. Ha ha! 
<laughs> What's so funny? I'd love to give you the treasure map, but I can't. You can't? You can't. You can't. It's impossible. Then why is that? Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> um, so she, uh, ate it. She ate it? Ate it? Ate it? We were all like, what? What? Would you please quit repeating everything? Please quit repeating everything. <laughs> oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. All right. So spit it out. Never. And I'll just have to make you spit it out. Uh-oh. She better watch out. And so Operation Get the Treasure Map began. First, they fed me terrible flavor combos like... Tuna salad topped with hot fudge. Cake pops frosted with ranch dressing. Gross. No. Toothpaste. An orange juice. An orange juice. <laughs> Why? Why is that the worst taste in the world? <sighs> but the smorgasbord of yuckiness didn't do the trick, so they told me to spin around 27 times really fast. 27? That's oddly specific, but okay. Now smell this sock. <laughs> wow, that is so mean. Finally, they set me afloat to let my seasickness take over. Oh. I could feel the grody food commingling with the old crusty treasure map in my belly. And the raft just kept bobbing and my head was spitting and, excuse me. <laughs> they got the map. Your treasure map, sir. Oh, now it's all yucky and the ink's all smudgy. That's just great. That's just great, that's just great. But meanwhile, I was just out there floating, drifting further and further away. Hey, I can't swim. Hey, Captain Smallish, beauty guy. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but please help. A ship. Hey, maybe it's someone here to rescue us. Yeah, I bet Selena Bard signaled for help, and then this ship full of good guys showed up to rescue us. Ooh, this is so exciting. Hey, down here, look. Grab the rope. We'll pull you up. Yes, I knew it. We're saved. Ooh, I hope they have some ginger ale up there. Ooh. Hi, my name's Jimmy. Hello, my name is Captain Hooksy. Oh, well, I'm pleased to meet you, Captain. That's my friend's name, too. Anyway, you came just in the right time. The super scary pirate Long John Silver is over there on Skeleton Island. Did you say Skeleton Island? Yeah, scary name, right? <laughs> That's it, mateys! Land ho! Let's go get that treasure! Woohoo! But first, tie this one up. What? I thought you were here to rescue us. And cover her mouth, she's too yappy. No! Whoa, that was scary. Let's go on another adventure, come on! Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I never realized how much I love talking. Okay, so the ship turned out to be full of more baddies. Just my luck. We're here. Drop anchor. Uh, ow. Let's go get that treasure. Hello? Guys? Captain Hooksy? Anyone? Looks like the coast is clear. Now, I just gotta get untied. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's see what these pirates are up to. Okay, looks like Long John Silver's gone treasure hunting. Now, where are Captain Hooksy and her cronies? Oh, there she is. She's hot on their trail. Oh, and poor Captain Smallish and Beardy Guy are still tied up. Oh, if I could get myself untied, I would go help them. Ugh, what am I gonna do? I can't jump into the water like this. I'll sink like a stone. Hmm not the best idea I've ever had, but it'll have to do. Ah! Ooh, this is kind of fun though. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. Hey. Oh, oh, the rope's kind of undone. Wow, 
Wow, that was incredible. Yeah, now untie us, pretty please. You guys are never gonna believe this. There are new pirates here. I thought it was bad enough that Long John Silver's here. Now there's this Captain Hooksy to deal with. No, 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 no! Um, something you wanna share with the group? Captain Hooksy is the other pirate that captured me. You've been captured by pirates more than once? Yes. How did you leave that out of your bio? Well, it's a little embarrassing. I almost escaped Skeleton Island a couple of years ago. I built a boat and set sail for home. Then boom, Captain Hooksy caught me and made me work as her butler. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. But then I messed up her tea and she made me walk the plank. Always remember, two lumps of sugar, not one, two. That is so not cool. And so you wound up back here on Skeleton Island? Correct, see, told you I'm cursed. So what's she like beyond the two lumps of sugar thing? <laughs> She's a real baddie, almost as bad as Long John Silver, maybe worse. But everyone says Long John Silver is the meanest, stinkiest pirate there ever was. Oh, she's mean all right and stinking. I once saw her make a flamingo walk the plank. I mean a flamingo. I mean, it just flew away, of course, but still, it was mean. Wow, that is so mean. Well, we have two choices. Get back to the ship and go home, no treasure, or we stick to the plan and find the gold. Maybe fight a few pirates along the way. I vote go home. I vote stay and find the treasure. Hmm. Up to me with the deciding vote, huh? I say let's find the treasure. When will we ever get another chance to find real treasure? Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, let's giddy up. Um, one problem. We don't have the map. All right. Hmm. Can you remember at all what it looked like? Any landmarks? No, there were drawings of trees, but there are trees everywhere. Think, think, there has to be something you remember. Something that can help us. There was some writing on it, a poem or something. Oh yeah, maybe that's a clue. It said, it always runs, but never leaves. Leaves? Trees? Like I said, there were a lot of trees on the map. Nah, that's not it. What always runs, but never leaves? A refrigerator? Perhaps a hamster in one of those wheels. Water runs? Is there a spout somewhere on the island? No, there's no running water here. If you need fresh water, you have to go to the waterfall. That's it. It must be buried near the waterfall. The water runs, but the waterfall never leaves. Can you lead the way? Sure. Let's go. And so we were off. Off to see the wonderful wizard of... Wait, no, different story. <laughs> we were off to find the treasure of Skeleton Island. Nay, Treasure Island. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter eight, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. We were on our way to the waterfall, the location of the buried treasure, hopefully. Maybe, fingers crossed. Ooh, ah! But something was telling us the pirates were on the same path. Are you okay? Yeah, it just fell into this hole here. Looks freshly dug. The pirates must have been here, digging for the treasure. Ugh. Whoa. You all right? Yes, I guess they were just being thorough. Well, guess they left no stone unturned, no hole undug. Give me a hand. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Shh, hear that? Dig! I don't think it's here, Captain Hooksy. Just dig! Yes, ma'am. We better hide. We're not leaving till we've dug up every bit of dirt on this island. I'm going to find this treasure if it's the last thing I do. What is it? tight. <gasps> Thank you. But shh, who's there? No one. I don't think that's gonna work. You? I thought I left you tied up on my ship. Well, I cannonballed myself back onto the island, so... Uh-oh, she better watch out. You've seen the map. You know where the treasure is, don't you? What? Me? <laughs> is that what you said? Or did you say Matt? Matt who? Yeah, I don't know anybody named Matt. Actually, my name is Matt. Oh, really? I've just been calling you Beardy Man. I didn't say Matt. I said map, as in treasure map. Oh, 
Oh, right, 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 right. Tell me where the treasure is, and I'll let you leave this island in one piece. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. It's that way. All righty, mateys, let's go get some treasure. <clears throat> Told you, cursed. Come on, I don't have all day. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Meet me at the waterfall. What? Shh, I said, meet me at the waterfall. Oh, I, I. <sighs> Now march! We probably need a plan, don't we? So we think it's somewhere near this waterfall. Okay, start digging. Me? Paul, I'm not digging. Well, I don't have a shovel. Use your hands. <sighs> okay. And so I dug, and I dug, and dug, and I dug, and I dug, and I dug. You dig? And then finally, I found something. Treasure? Hey, this looks just like the one the sea captain gave me. Open it, open it. Patience is a virtue. Open it. Aye, aye. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter nine, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So I was just about to open the wooden chest that I found. You know, the one that looked like it probably, most likely, very possibly contained treasure. Yeah, that one. Anyway, so I, ahem, uh, uh, I'm waiting. Oh, yes, right, right, right. Uh, mm. All righty, here I go, opening this treasure chest now. Okay, now would be a really good time for my friends to come and save me. Uh. Oh no, this doesn't look good. What is the holdup? Move, I'll do it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hello, ladies. Long John Silver is back. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, and I'll just be taking that treasure. K thanks, bye. I don't think so, Long John. Ah! Big sword! Ah! Oh, another big sword! Oh. Still, guys, really? How long can two pirates' sword bite? Oh, kinda getting bored over here! Wait a minute, if they're distracted, then maybe I could just sneak away with it. Ooh, this is so exciting! Okay, easy does it. A few more steps and I'll be in the clear. Oh, I was just about to escape the pirates and get the treasure. Amazing, right? And then I looked up and saw this. We're coming down to save you. No, shh, I'm about to make a clean getaway. What did she say? I don't know, what did you say? Uh, shh. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm good. What? I, I think she said thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, good. Aw, that's nice. Well, let's go. yippee ki -yay, buccaneers. Huh? Yeah. No! And just when I was about to sneak away from the pirates, once and for all, I gotta go and get rescued. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Well, what do we have here? You just wait till I get out of here. We're gonna teach you a lesson. Are ya? Yes, we will, old chap. Looks like I gotta rescue the rescuers. Okay, think, Jimmy. Hey, pirates! No! It's deep. I can't see without my swim goggles. Quit splashing me! I didn't splash, you splashed! It's gone! My treasure is gone! Your treasure? It's my treasure! Come on, guys, hop up! We have to go while the getting's good! AKA, let's vamoose, scram, make like a tree and leaf, shake a leg, giddy up! Uh, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. 
Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Are you going somewhere? Us? No, why would we go anywhere? We love this island, it's paradise. Plus, you guys are so nice. Are you being sarcastic? No! I think you are. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because we stole your ship. No. Yep, look. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no! Told you we were cursed! Found it! <gasps> I found the treasure! Woohoo! It's mine! How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Hooks off! I saw it first! Nuh uh! Yeah, uh huh! Paper, rock, scissors for it! Fine! Paper, rock, scissors, shoot! You can't use hook! It's not paper, rock, scissors, hook! One more! For real this time! Paper, rock, scissors! Hey, look over there! Where? Haha, <laughs> gotcha! I win! I win! No fair! Hey, it's just full of dirt and rocks! It was that girl! She stole my treasure! Let me at her! Yikes, scary, right? I would be frightened, but nope. Cause we hightailed it out of there while they were playing rock, paper, scissors. Made it to the ship, baby. Now, we just gotta set sail before the bad guys find out. Take that, bad guy. Pull up anchor, Captain. Aye, aye. And hoist the sails. Aye, aye. Now let's go. I said let's go. Did you pull the anchor? Yeah. Hoist the sails? Yeah. Why aren't we moving? No wind? I tell you we're cursed. Hello. Waiting for us? Ah, the pirates. Whoa. Ow, and I fell? I am cursed. I have the worst luck in the world. Um, Jimmy. What? We're moving. We are? We are. Ah. Woohoo! Bye bye, pirates. See you never. Yay! <laughs> woo, that was a close one. We did it, gang. And woo, what an adventure. Pirates, sinking sand, cannonballs, sword fights, buried treasure. Wait, the treasure. That was our one chance to get away, Jimmy. I know it's sad, but we had to leave it behind. Did we? I pull the old classic switcheroo, put the rich stuff in my boots, and filled the treasure chest with dirt and rocks while the pirates weren't looking. Ah, amazing! Lovely! The diamonds were really poking my feet when we were running to the ship, but it was all worth it. Now let's just get home and try to live happily ever after, or something like that. Aye aye, Captain. Wait, that's me, I'm the captain. How much is there? I get 10%, remember? Oh, do you guys mind dropping me off in England? That would be lovely. And would you mind untying me? That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. I feel weird. Pan, you gotta do something. She needs her fairy glitter. Otherwise she gets really weak. What are we gonna do? Well, there's one thing. If everybody claps, then we'll show her that people still believe in fairies. Of course we believe in fairies. And all of you, out there, if you believe in fairies all together, I need you to clap your hands. Please. Please, for my bestie, clap your hands so Tink can hear you. Hi, I'm Pam. Peter Pan, I have so much cool stuff to show you guys, but first I want to tell you about a very special family, the Darling family. And there was a huge battle. You'll never catch me. Oh yeah? Watch me. And Peter Pan was so quick, flying through the air like a little white bird. Yep, they're talking about me. Every night, Mrs. Darling tells bedtime stories about me and all my buddies. And my favorite thing to do is listen outside the window. Soaring through the air with Tinkerbell. I love this part. They race to the pirate ship in the middle of the sea. Come on, Tink. Those pirates won't get away with this. I got your back, buddy. Hey, 
I have a great idea. Yeah? How about in this story, I get to be Tinkerbell. Ooh. Please, I've always wanted to be a fairy with wings. I love it. Yes, this is awesome. And these wings are more glittery than I imagined. Huh, Tink, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Land ho! What, Tink, you're being so weird. Um, look, pirates! Whoa, yeah, there they are, quick! Hey, you stinky old pirates. Oh man, not this kid again. Put your dukes up, Starkey. Ah, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. What's all this fuss about? You know what, Zoro? I think you're so brave. Who, me? Yes, brave enough to play a pirate. Yeah, totally. I can do this, a pirate, Er. Um, okay, where's your leader? You mean Captain Hook? Arr. And then, I, I want to fly, fly like, like Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. Hey, Mom. Mom. I can fly. Watch me. <laughs> Ouch. Is it weird I like to listen to stories about myself? All right, all right, kids. I think it's about time for bed. Nana. <laughs> yep, their babysitter is a dog. I'm telling you, the craziness is only getting started. Sure. And she speaks. <laughs> Hmm, that's weird. I could have sworn I heard something out there. <laughs> They're all set for bed, Mrs. Darling. I've looked high and low for my phone, you guys. Um, I don't have it. My girl? Sorry, Dad. It was our buried treasure. Huh? You know, like in the story of Peter Pan. Peter Pan? Oh, Dad, Peter Pan? Oh, that silly kid. Hey, rude. All right, everyone to bed. Especially you, Wendy. You have a big math test tomorrow. Ugh, growing up is hard. Don't do it. Don't grow up. We, we won't. Night-night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom. You closed the window? Uh, yeah. It's freezing. But Peter Pan <sighs> might come to the window. Huh? to visit. Oh, Wendy dear, Peter Pan is just a story. Peter is not real. Ha, that's what she thinks. But one night, I was listening to stories minding my own beeswax. The kids were doing their bedtime routine. So one night, the kids were doing their bedtime routine. Story, bath, brush your teeth, bed. You know, the huge. Me and my shadow were chilling outside. Oh, BT Dubs, that's my shadow. She comes with me everywhere I go. Right, shadow? <laughs> what, what is that smell? <laughs> Smells like cinnamon buns? John, ew! Oh, I was saving that for later. <laughs> OMG, that's so gross. <laughs> Is it me? I, I swear I showered. Ooh, not sure. Yesterday? No. Yes. Today? No. It was definitely yesterday. It smells like Girl Scout cookies. A possible intruder. But Nana, I'm telling you, there's nothing out. Ah! <laughs> Peter Pan? Gotcha! What the? Oh. I can't believe it. You're real. I'm sorry, Shadow. I gotta get out of here. I'll come back for you. Uh, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That was not good. What am I gonna? Gonna what? Oh, tank, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, boss. And I told you, you don't need to call me boss. Oh, sorry, Bob. Um, boo thing. Ah, Tank, I lost my shadow. The darlings totally trapped me, and now they have it. What are they gonna do with it? Oh, no. Well, 
We should go get it back. Yeah, you're right. But we gotta wait until they go to sleep. Meanwhile, back at the darlings. I can't believe it. She's really real. I knew it. And her shadow detached from her body. Scientifically, that is a conundrum. Well, this is certainly more exciting than our regular bedtime routine. We should put her shadow in the drawer for safekeeping. I'll help. Oh, goodness. In you go. Operation Shadow Rescue on a door cold night. A little long-winded there, Pan. Right. Operation Shadow underway. Gonna need a shovel. Really? A battery pack. Um. A grapple. What is that? This kayak. Seems a little excessive. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go get that shadow. Wait a minute, Miss Booksy. I thought there were going to be pirates in this story. Yes, the world. I just really like being a pirate. Don't worry, your special part is coming up. Okay, cool, back to the story. Okay, I'm gonna crack open the door and since you're tiny, you fly in and try to find my shadow. Awesome, p on three. One, two. Huh? Oh, uh, I was thinking we could start a team cheer. No time, go. Hmm, no, nope, not under there. What about here? No. OMG, Peter, here! Oh, my shadow! Hey, I'm in here! Oh, I missed ah. you, you little cute hey. shadow, you! Ah. Hey! Ah. Oh, oh my. Ah. What is going on? Glitter in this pouch, and I'm not afraid to use it. Peter, I knew you'd come back. Oh, um, hello. My name is Pete. Uh, well, I guess you know my name since you just said it. <laughs> I get nervous making new friends. Oh, Peter, let me help you with that. Gee, I, uh, I'm not used to having someone take care of me like this. Really? What about your mom? Her, well, I live in Neverland, and there are fairies and mermaids and pirates, but my parents work a lot, so I don't get to see them very much. Oh, that must be so hard. Yeah, but you seem like such a good mother. Well, I'm not exactly a mother. Oh, I have a great idea. What about being a Cub Scout mom? Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'm so confused. Well, in Neverland, I'm the Cub Master for a whole group of Cub Scouts. We'd love to have someone like you in our troop. So what do you say? Want to come to Neverland with me? So what do you say? Want to come to Neverland with me? Oh my, that's, that's, a, that's a big decision. What about my home and my brothers and my math test tomorrow? What's a math test? You know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, radical expression. Uh, the only radical expressions I know are like, yeah, serves up, bro, radical man, totally, dude. Look, Peter, I can't just leave my brothers. They can come with. Hey, little dudes, wake up, rise and shine. I'm awake. Hiya. Whoa, you're ready for action, little guy. <laughs> what, what? What's happening? Is that you, Peter? Yep. So me and your big sis are headed to Neverland. You coming? Yes. Oh, I, uh, boys, I, I don't know. We should think about this. Miss Wendy, I promise I'll keep you guys safe. Let's just all go have an adventure together, and I'll get you back here in time for your muffin test. Math test. Whatever. Let's go. Um, Peter? Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Just close your eyes. And think of your favorite candy. And your favorite song. La, la, la. Michael, shush. And fly. Um, Peter. Not now, Tink. I'm working over here. Peter. Tink, I swear I can't think when you keep saying my name. Peter. <laughs> um, right. Thanks, Tink. Fairy glitter. Tinkerbell, hit him with your best shot. Sure, boss. Oh my, I've always wanted to fly. From a physics standpoint, this seems impossible, but I like it. 
<laughs> you guys are doing great. Keep your spirits up and your eyes on me. Let's go to Neverland. And Tink, keep a steady stream of fairy glitter too. You got it. As the new friends flew from their house through the sky to Neverland, they encountered some amazing things in the sky. Hey look, a flying metal tube. You mean an airplane? <laughs> okay, Wendy, nobody calls it that. Um, literally everyone calls it an airplane, Peter. Whatever, let's grab onto the wings and go for a ride. Whee! Uh oh. Oh boy, maybe we should try something else. Everybody, jump! Whoa, I'm floating! You don't even need fairy glitter here. Ooh, is that the moon? My research indicates that the moon is made of cheese. Only one way to find out! Oh, Peter, you wouldn't! <laughs> Watch me! Hmm, tastes like chicken. Cheesy chicken. <laughs> Meanwhile, things on the pirate ship were getting a little wild. Okay, 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 you bunch of ragamuffins. Listen up. Or what? Ah, Starkey, I can't deal with you being snarky. Sit down. Uh, sorry, Smee. I'll clean that up right away. Listen, Captain Hook has had a really bad day. What else is new, Mr. Stinky Attitude Hook? Anyways, he lost his special glove that he wears over his hook to sword fight and, and other piratey things. Yar, I heard Hook crying all night long. Shh, Bob, don't say his name. We don't want to wake him up. He was taking his afternoon nap. Arr, who dared utter my name? Uh-oh. Bill Jukes. Yes, sir. Was it me, sir? Get me my tablet. Yes, sir. Now, where is Pan? Lost retractor. She was at Mermaid Lagoon. Do, do you think Pan stole your glove? Of course I think Peter Pan stole me glove. She's always up to mischief, that one. Urgh. Peter Pan's impossible to track. Do you want someone to walk the plank to make you feel better? Oh. Hmm. Bob. Oh, please, sir. Not again. Just kidding. Phew. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. Everyone was stunned by the beauty of the Mermaid Lagoon. Why, I've never seen anything quite like this before. I hear them singing. Watch that one over there. She's on the national flipping team. Wow, they swim so fast. You think that's fast? Watch this. Ah, Peter. We missed you, Peter. Where have you been? Oh, I've just been out making new friends, wheeling and dealing. Silly girl. Whoa there. I can have lots of friends at once. Well, I know your BFF Tank should be around here somewhere. Tank? Tank? Hey, ladies. You giving Peter a hard time. <coughs> yes. Well, we're just joking. Here, catch. Uh-huh. You mermaids ready for a rematch? Last time Peter and I kicked your booties in this game. Oh, yeah. Game on. <laughs> Back at the ship, Captain Hook and the pirates came up with a scheme to find Pan. Arr, I say we go to the Greenpeace Club. Yeah! And kidnap their leader, Tiger Lily. Yeah! She's friends with Pan. We'll use Tiger Lily to lure Peter Pan to us. <laughs> yeah! It was true. Peter Pan and Tiger Lily were really good friends. Tiger Lily was a park ranger and the leader of the Greenpeace Club. They were a group of environmentalists, which pretty much means they lived off the land and tried to protect Mother Earth. There's Tiger Lily now. Oh, I just love squash. This butternut is going to be delightful. Hey, boss. Hey, Tiger Lily. We heard there's some new peeps afoot in Neverland. Cool. New friends. Well, we don't know that yet. 
Yeah, with your permission, we want to go check them out. Make sure they aren't a threat to the environment. Sure, but be back soon. I'll make you herbal tea. Okay. okay. Now, Smee, follow my lead. Okay, Captain. We're going to pretend to be farmers. Put on this hat. Why, Captain? Arr, no time to explain. Just follow me. Do da do da do. I love plants. La 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 la. And trees. Do da do. I love the sun. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, farmer. I'm sorry. I don't think we've been acquainted. We haven't. What my colleague is trying to say is that we are new farmers here. Hmm. I usually know about all the activity here at Greenpeace Club. Uh, uh, uh. And what happened to your hand? Uh oh. And why must you ask so many questions, girl? This is not gonna be good. I think you need to leave. I'm not leaving until you tell me where Pan is. Captain Hook, I knew it. Tell me where Pan is or you'll walk the plank. Let me go, I'm a pacifist. I don't like to fight. But while Tiger Lily was fighting for her life, the mermaids noticed the onlookers at their game. Hey, look, invaders. Be gone, you strangers. Splash them. Hey, stop it. Girls, girls, quit it. We don't want any interlopers here. <coughs> we mean no harm. Everyone stop. This is your last chance, Tiger Lily. No way. It's Captain Hook. And Tiger Lily. Oh no, he must have captured her. We gotta save her. Okay, Wendy, you stay with the den. But I want to come with you, Peter. I can help. Okay, fine. Wendy, you come with me. Scouts, you take the darling boys back to the bunker. And mermaids, chill out. These are my friends. Tink, let's go. So Peter Pan, Wendy, and Tink flew quick as a flash towards Captain Hook and Tiger Lily. I hope we make it in time. Almost there. This would be a lot easier if you would just tell me where Pan is. I'm a loyal friend and I won't give her to you. Aw, oh, come on. Sorry, BFF code of honor. Arr, it's very important that I find Pan. She has something of mine. Like what? Your sense of decency? A fly I would never hurt. But Pan? Ugh. Oh, Peter Pan, I'll squish him like a fly. You're so rough, dude. You have no idea. Who hurt your feelings so bad that you're this way, Hook? Well, it was this one time when I was little and... Hey, stop trying to understand me. I'm a mean pirate. That's that. I don't believe that. There must be a good guy under there. I'm not so sure. We all belong to this planet and Mother Earth is love. Stop it with this nonsense. I'm bad and you're whatever. And Pan is toast. Let's go. Peter, you have to do something. Tink, we got this. I promise, Tiger Lily. You're gonna love walking the plank. Not if I can help it. What? Who said that? Over here. Who? What? Where? <whistles> oh, Captain Hook! Huh? Look! Right over there! <laughs> you just got fairy glittered, man. <coughs> what in the world? Um, Captain? Oh no you don't, you stinking pirate. You're not getting away that easily. I knew you'd come, Pan. Of course, BFF Code of Honor. Quick. <coughs> well, my plan worked. All I wanted was to find you. Hey, well, what's happening? Fairy glitter. Come on, Peter. What is this, this witchcraft? Well, only enough magic in there to make you float for, like, five minutes. By then, we'll be long gone. <laughs> oh, thank the goddess. Sorry to leave ya hanging. <laughs> Get it? Hanging? Floating? Tink, come on! No time for jokes. Peace out, dudes! <laughs> Meanwhile, the scouts and darling boys had been on their way back to the bunker. Not too much longer, boys. Just a smidge more walking. 
My calculations tell me we should head due north. Have you had that compass this whole time? Why, yes. I never leave home without it. And my calculations tell me it's snack o'clock. Finally! Yeah, my belly is a rumbling for some treats. Nibs, what do you got? Well, I have been so excited to have you guys taste test these candies. We love candy. I do say, this looks splendid. It's filled with chocolate and sprinkles and butterscotch and sour gummies and sugar snap peas and covered in powdered sugar. Sounds interesting. Tastes interesting. While we rest our weary bodies, we should play a game of charades. Yay! We'll, we'll go, go first. first. Three words. Um, Santa Claus? No. First word. Measuring out flour for a cake? No. Scooping sauce onto pasta? No. Squeezing glue to make slime? Come on, man. Isn't it obvious? No. no. We're, We're carving, carving a, a pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh. oh. Uh, I think I ate too much. My tum tum. Well, we should probably get back before it gets too dark. Yeah, let's go. One little problem. The members of the Greenpeace Club were hot on their trail. Remember they were looking for the new people they heard about in Neverland? Well, let's just say the Darling Boys didn't make a great first impression. <gasps> Trash! You mean littering. We have to find who did this. And bring them to Tiger Lily. Man, oh man, she's not going to be happy about this. Earth vandalizers on our island? No bueno. Let's get them. So the members of the Green Peace Club were relentlessly looking for the Earth Vandalizers, aka the Scouts and Darling Boys who left trash behind in the woods. That's a big no-no. Plastic? I can smell it. Yep, this way. That was a really fun game of charades. Yeah, but how could you not guess carving a pumpkin? So easy. Twas not. Was too. Sorry, twins. It was pretty tricky. Shh, quiet. Shh. Did you hear that? I don't hear anything. Shh. What is it, John? Not sure yet. I hear rustling. It's probably just a deer. Or a pirate. What? what? Mm, no, those steps are heavier than a deer. But lighter than an elephant. There aren't elephants in the woods. It's Neverland. You want to bet? Shh. Stop arguing before something bad. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha! What do what? Let us out of here! This is unacceptable! We come in kindness. Um, you literally trapped us. How is that kind? Well, we don't know what kind of vagrants are roaming this island. It's our mission to keep this a peaceful place and the land pure. This is all very harmonious, but can you let us out of here? We'll let you out, but you have to come with us. What? Why? Oh, JK. You scouts are good, we know you. Yay! But you boys need to come with us. No! Sorry, they violated the Neverland Environmental Law 26.2. Never ever litter in Neverland. Well, how do you know it was us? Come on, man. Uh, what, who, uh, me? Ugh, Michael. Well, we aren't leaving without our new friends. Yeah, you either take none of us or all of us. Uh, okay, fine. Everyone line up. Oh, that didn't quite go how I thought it would. Wait, I have a better idea. We can run back to the bunker and get Peter. Yes, she'll know what to do. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, fine. Go ahead, take them. Yeah, we def won't be going to, uh, get help or anything. What? Don't worry, we have a plan. Okay, whatever. You two, let's go. John, this is very bad. Where's Wendy? You're coming with us to our headquarters. But what everyone didn't know was that Peter was on her way to the Green Peace Club with Tiger Lily. Wait, so if the scouts are going to the bunker to find Peter, she won't even be there. Right, because Peter will be at the Green Peace Club. And that's where the Darling Boys are headed right now. Yes, everyone is basically headed in the same direction at the same time. I wonder what will happen when they all end up at the Green Peace Club together. 
John, I'm scared. I know, I am too. But I'm sure that Wendy and Peter will figure out a way to save us. Thanks for your help back there, Pan. Of course. <laughs> I just knew you'd come. You bet. We'll make sure you get back to the club safely. Come on, little dudes. You're moving too slow. Yeah, the seasons are going to change before we get there. Huh? Sorry. We all got to start running. Oh, man. Faster. Run faster. I'm running as fast as I can. Yeah, sorry. My legs are short. So basically, everyone was running. Running towards each other. Almost there. I sure hope Michael and John are OK. Huh? Random time for you to be thinking about them. I just have this weird feeling. I miss Wendy. I know. Me too. Come on, keep running. Just a little farther. Tink, why are you wasting your energy running? You can fly. I can fly? OMG, for a quick sec I forgot. We're flying now. I can fly! Wow! Sorry! Well, I'll be darned. How is this happening? We're flying? Wendy, is that you? John, do you know these guys? Boss, there you are. We were just coming to see you. Peter, save us. We've been trapped. What? But these guys are my friends. And you guys are my friends. And you guys are my friends. And I know you, and you, and you. Michael, are you OK? You Everybody, chill. Ouch. Oh, my booty, Tink. Why'd you do that? Because we all need to keep calm, carry on, talking. How poetic, Tink. I think she means we need to figure out what the heck is going on here. My thoughts exactly. So the groups all explained what the others were doing and how they were trying to arrive at the Green Peace Club at the same time. Tiger Lily even excused the Darling Boys for littering, since they were new to Neverland. They didn't know. But now we know, so we won't do it again. They realized they were all on the same side of things and enjoyed the Green Peas Club together. They drank some peppermint tea. Mmm, refreshing. I grew the peppermint leaves myself in my garden. They did some yoga. I feel so centered. Whoa, whoa, oh. Oops. They watered some plants. This is an echinacea plant. Good to keep you healthy. Cool. And this is lemon balm. Reduces anxiety. Oh, that's good for me. I'm a little, some might say, high strung. Tiger Lily sang everyone a peaceful song. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. They took a nap under the shade of the trees. Ah, this is the life. Yeah, the sun is shining. Ah. And I'm sleepy. Ooh, not a care in the world. Ah! Wendy? Over here! Help! Wendy, what happened? I was climbing, and I was stretching, and I was parkouring. And you fell off? Yeah, I think I'm okay. I don't think it's broken. Ouchie! Oh man, we gotta get you back to the bunker and fast. You can take my wagon and Wendy can ride in that. Thanks, Tiger Lily, but I got a better idea. Wendy, hop on. Oh boy. Let's fly. Wee! Peter, don't drop me. Don't worry, I got gotcha. ya. <laughs> hey, looks like those stinking pirates are finally leaving the shore. See you later, alligators. Don't taunt them, Tank. Ah, uh, they can't hear us. Right, pirates? Huh? Did you guys hear that? No, dude, relax. You're always so worried. But... Yeah, just embrace the chill island life. But, but it sounded like a bird, or a plane, or a fairy. But the thing was, the pirates were not leaving the shore. That's right, kids. This wasn't the last time Peter and her buddies would see the pirates. Huh? So the gang was flying fast as lightning toward the home under the ground so they could save Wendy's life. Whoa, 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 that's a little dramatic. It's just a busted leg. She'll be fine after the scouts take care of her. 
Who are you talking to, Peter? Uh, no one. According to my calculations, we are four hairs past a freckle away. Huh? Meaning, we're almost there. Good, because my back is starting to ache. Oh, sorry, Peter. Oh, not to worry. Anything for a friend. And meanwhile, the scouts were looking all over the home under the ground for Peter. Remember, they went back there to get help for the Darling Boys. Where could Pan be? We are really going to need her help if we are going to save the Darling Boys. Uh, guys? What if she never comes back? Hello, guys. Oh, man. We should start gathering our food and making rations. You, you guys, guys, look. Hey, guys. Incoming. <laughs> oh, ow, my booty. <sighs> Quick, guys. Wendy needs your help. Oh, no, Mother. You're hurt. We can help you, Mother. Right this way, Mother. We, we got, got you, mother. mother. Oh, oh, my. Thank you. Is she going to be OK? Will your medicine taste nasty, like the one our mommy gives us for a cough? Oh no, Michael, she won't even need any medicine. Yeah, we're gonna patch this leg up lickety-split. I got a piece of wood and make a splint. And I'll get ribbon to tie it tight. And I'll get a chocolate ice cream sundae. Won't that be a little messy? Oh, John, you silly goose, it's not for her leg, just a little snack. Right. The scouts made quick work of fixing up Wendy's leg. After some wrapping, stitching, welding, and ice cream eating, Wendy was as good as new. Wow, thanks guys. I feel like a million bucks. And bonus, I don't know if you scouts realize this, but because of this incident, you all earned your first aid and medicine merit badges. Yeah! Hey Wendy, I'll bet you can fly better than ever now. You think? I know. Tink, hit her with a little fairy glitter. You got it, dude. Ah, uh, Tink? I, I swear I had another one in here. Another what? Tink, come on, we want to see Wendy fly. Uh, Pan, I think we have bigger fish to fry. My spare bag of glitter is... Is, is filled with glitter to keep this fun going? Uh... No, it's missing. What did you lose? Guys, it's true. I'm all out of fairy glitter. I'll bet that crooked Captain Hook stole it when we were busy saving Tiger Lily. You're right. Tink, what's wrong? It's her powers and her energy. She's getting weaker by the second. I feel weird. Pan, you gotta do something. She needs her fairy glitter. Otherwise, she gets really weak. What are we gonna do? Well, there's one thing. If everybody claps, then we'll show her that people still believe in fairies. Of course we believe in fairies. Well, sometimes people lose their faith, and Tink needs a little encouragement. Quick, Pan, I'm fading. And all of you, out there, if you believe in fairies all together, I need you to clap your hands. Please. Please, for my bestie, clap your hands so Tink can hear you. Sorry to interrupt this really important moment, but I just needed to tell you Captain Hook did steal Tinkerbell's fairy glitter. Yup, I stole right from under her nose. Urgh. Captain, that's aggressive. Well, you gotta be aggressive if you want to get your way. I guess. And I want my special glove back from Pan. And I knew if I took that fairy's magical pouch of glitter, Pan would surely come back for it. Peter Pan certainly does seem to be a loyal friend. She's kind of always saving her friends. Ha ha! I'll use that loyalty to trap her. Oh boy. Come on, you guys! Clap! Clap! Please. Clap! Clap if you believe in fairies! I believe in you, Tink! I believe in magic. See, Tink, everybody loves you. We believe in fairies. Do you believe in magic? Tell me you believe. I believe. I'm feeling stronger and stronger. Clap a little bit more. I'm back, people. Thank you. See, people still do believe in magic. Magic is all around us. I love it. But this won't last long. We really gotta get to Hook's ship to get my glitter. We'll stay in the bunker in case Hook shows up here. 
We'll come with you, Pan. I'm ready to fight for your honor, Tink. <laughs> this better work, because this is my last handful of fairy glitter. Let's go! Good luck! The group flew fast as lightning toward the pirate ship. You need to prepare yourself for battle, peeps. Yeah, those pirates are strong, but we're stronger! We can do this. Aha, see that? They're still by the shore. We gotta make a sneak attack. We'll follow your lead, Pan. Okay, shh, we gotta do this very quietly. Look, I see Smee and Bob and the others. What, what are they doing? Are they? Is that nail polish? Spa day. Ah, soft as a rabbit's booty. I love that mint green color. It brings out my eyes. Hold still. I'm trying to clip these toenails. Gross. When is the last time you did this? Mm, nasty. Count us in, Peter. Okay, here we go. We pounce on three. Like on three or after you say three? On my count of three. So when you say three? <sighs> ah, here we go. One, two, three. What's happening? Put up your dukes, me. Uh-oh. This is not gonna be good. We won't hurt you if you take us to your leader. Oh, the little fairy is scary. You have no idea. I may look tiny, but I'm mighty. I believe you. Just don't hurt me. Dude, you guys are pirates. Aren't you supposed to be a little bit more, like, bloodthirsty or something? Now might not be a good time to say this, but I really don't like being mean. Ugh, where's my bag of fairy glitter? Ha ha ha, I knew this bag of dumb old glitter would lure you back to my ship. Peter Pan can never turn down a chance to help a friend. Ha ha, gotcha. Ugh, he used my kind heart against me. Burst. Pan, give us the word. Charge! <laughs> Suddenly, Pan and Hook were cornered face to face. Give us back the fairy glitter. Never! You, you codfish! Then give me back my glove. Huh? My special glove. The one my grandma made me when I was a little boy to protect my hook and do piratey things. Whoa, this got heavy. Um, this glove? Are you kidding me? Sorry, boss. I didn't know this was the glove you were looking for. I've been using it to hold all the fish I catch. Oh, I'll never get that stench out of my glove. Bob! Do you want him to walk the plank, sir? Yes! Plank! 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 plank. plank. Oh, man! Oh, man! Here goes nothing! Huh? What? I wasn't gonna let one of me men drown. Just teaching him a little lesson. Let's all go. So, uh, Hook, the fairy glitter? I already snuck it back into Tink's pouch. Huh? Ah, oh, thanks! You know, this has been a lot of fun, but I kind of feel like it's time to go home. Sure, we can head back to the home under the ground. No, Peter. I mean our home, not in Neverland, where our parents are, and Nanny, our own beds. Oh, um, I thought we had more time together. Like, I kind of thought forever. Well, we def can be friends forever. I miss my mommy, too. Would you mind taking us back, Peter? Sure, yeah. That's what friends are for, right? Second star to the right. And straight on till morning. Tell the scouts thank you for everything. And Tiger Lily and the Greenpeace Club to keep on protecting the land. And tell the mermaids we'll come play bubble ball with them soon. This was a great adventure. I'll miss you, darlings. I really don't like goodbyes, so how about see you later? 
See, See you, you later. later. Until next time. Off to Neverland. Good night, boys. Good, Good night, night, Wendy. Wendy. Good morning, my darling darlings. Wendy, are you ready for your math test today? Huh? Wasn't that like months ago? Silly Wendy, of course not. We were just talking about it last night. But haven't we been in Neverland for so long? I'm not quite sure, but something magical definitely happened. The best parts of being a fairy. The first cool thing about being a fairy? Yeah. Hiding in small places. Remember when I got stuck in that drawer? <laughs> that was crazy, but it was okay, because us fairies are tiny, so we can squeeze and fit in the most random of spots. Try me. How about a clamshell? Easy. See? Hmm. Can you fit inside a water bubble? Easy breezy. Oops. Sorry. That's okay. Next cool thing about fairies, we actually don't mind the dark. Ready, Zoro? Uh-oh. Where are we? Well, this is why fairies don't mind the dark. Our glitter wings are like a flashlight. Cool. Okay, while we're here in the woods, I want to tell you about the next cool thing about being a fairy. Is it this? Huh? Where did you even find that little guy? Let him go. Oops. Sorry. No, 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 Zoro. But that is actually kind of close. Us fairies use nature to make music. Like sticks and rocks and leaves? Yep. Watch this. Wow, I never knew fairies were so resourceful. Oh yeah, resourceful is my middle name. It is? No, it's Agatha, but still. So is there one more thing you got up your sleeve? You mean other than fairy glitter? Oh boy, here we go again. Oh yes, here we do go again. Because this is the final thing on my awesome list of cool things about being a fairy. Scaring your friends? No, dude. Flying. Right. That's pretty much what us fairies are most known for. Flying. Come on, Zoro. Give it your best shot. <sighs> okay. Whoa. This is fun. Told ya. I feel like an honorary fairy. You totally are, Zoro. Well, I hope you had fun learning more about fairies. And did you guys like learning about fairies? Yeah! Cool! <laughs>